Once your data is processed, you may want to export it. In Satori, you can export data as CSV files and images. First, let's see how to export the data as CSV files. The first way to do this is individual channel time series. To export the channel time series, go to Export, and then Export Selected Channel Data. You will be able to save a CSV file with the same structure as a selected channel plot, with one column for each time point and one row for each element displayed on the plot. This can include GLM fits if those were previously calculated. The second type of data you can export is event-related averages, and this time the CSV file will contain all channels on the same CSV file. To do so, go to Export, and then Export ERA Data. You will be able to save a CSV file, which will still have time points in columns and conditions for each chromophore and channel and rows. For example, if you have two experimental conditions and 20 channels, the CSV file will contain two conditions times three chromophores times 20 channels, which equals 120 rows. Finally, the third type of data you can export in Satori is the frequency spectrum. To do so, go to Export again, and then Export Frequency Spectrum. The CSV file you will save has the same structure as it does for event-related averages, with one column for each time point and one row for each possible combination of channel, chromophore, and condition. Now I'll show you how to export an image in Satori. Before starting, please note that you can switch from black to white mode in Satori by clicking the settings button in the upper right hand corner in the main window and then unchecking the dark mode box. You will then have to quit and reopen the application for the change to be applied. This will allow you to have the appropriate background color for your pictures. You may find these pictures helpful to include in your manuscript. The different images you can save are in export and then screenshots. Channel view, ERA view, and frequency spectrum will let you save the image that you see in these respective windows in Satori. The Satori window option will save a screenshot of your entire Satori window, which can be useful to have all the images in one place with the display option. This way you can play around with the display option and easily see which image corresponds to which settings. Finally, you can save 2D and 3D views. But before saving them, let's make sure that you have the best possible display for your results. You can modify the elements included in the 2D and 3D views in Tools, and then 2D views and Tools and 3D views. Let's look at each of them one at a time. In 2D view tools, you can make reference points such as 10, 10, or 10, 20 positions appear or disappear from the 2D view by clicking on ref. So we can see they disappear. You can also choose which reference point you want to display by selecting one of the available systems, 1020, EEG64, etc. In 3D view tools, you can modify many different parameters of the 3D view. The Layout section lets you modify the orientation of your montage on the head by translating, rotating, or rescaling it relative to the head in 3D. You can also make activation appear as light on the brain by checking the Show Light box. Right here, we can see it lights up on the brain. The Viewport section lets you choose which side of the head you want to see on the image. You can click on top, left, right, etc. You can also adjust it manually by clicking by right clicking while moving the cursor. The head model visualization section lets you choose whether you want to have the head model on your image or only the brain. Right here. That is just the brain. As well as how you want this to appear, whether with the whole surface or just the points, etc. The MNI coordinate section allows you to display specific points of interest in the brain. You can enter each coordinate and then press enter and choose a color point for that point on the brain. The scene section right here allows you to choose whether or not to display the 3D axis on the image. 
And finally, the reference labels section allows you to select which reference point, points you want to have on your image or whether to have no reference points at all. This is similar to what we saw for the 2D view. You can also change their color by clicking on the color button. Now that we have fine-tuned your image parameters, we can go back to export, and then screenshots, and then either save 2D view or save 3D view. Enjoy your beautiful results!